Welcome, everyone. It's Avery Strakemar. It's time for some more Raid Shadow Legends. We're going to be continuing on our grind to reach some crazy heights. Let's give it a go. I'm not saying we're going to win, but I'm going to give it my best. Um, beating her is obviously going to be a problem, especially with her being able to take endless turns. That's not good. Her defense is so high. Probably need a banner and some savage, because this isn't going to work. But as you can see, I put a regen set on him, so he'll be able to tank more. Give this a roll because I have to try to. The thing is, I don't take a lot of champs to 50 these days because I don't want to make 40s or 50s bin. I want to reduce that. If we're going to level a champ, level a champ. If we're not going to level a champ, not level a champ. Because right now, I can't afford to do... I can't... I, I don't want to... I don't want to stymie my progress by not focusing only on six-starring champs I take to 50. So this kind of thing doesn't happen. A tour is too much for Spirit Host to handle, unfortunately. Um And apparently so is Elaine. But at least we're getting somewhere. Let's uh Let's avoid that for now. I got to do some clan boss and some standard arena. Yep. I've been leveling him a bit. Um, I will also show when I get him to level 60. As I do want to get him to level 60. Because he's going to do a lot of work for me. At level 60. Dagger. Try to life steal that. I'm gonna have to do this. Try to target him. 
Nah, that didn't work. Okay, at least I got to a lower rating where I might be able to do something. Because, again, my arena squad is less than designed for arena. So, because of that, we're not really ready for Silver 3, obviously. We are obviously not ready for Silver 3. If that wasn't already obvious. Because I need, like, champs meant for arena. More of them. And yet we get there anyway. We have a champion three times. It's not worth it. No. I I have to try to look into Again, we don't want this food here. Want to try to focus on the core. Because all of our food, most of it at least, most of the levels are going to all go into one. Into one champ, literally. That That's how it's going to roll. That is how it's going to roll. Not bad. So, let's show it off in Clan Boss and see if I can do something with... Let's see what we can do, honestly, before I go do um, some other stuff. The thing I like is that he now has sustain, so that might drastically improve our clan boss. Now that he has the ability to sustain himself. As before, he didn't really have the ability to sustain himself. Oh, I screwed up. Get some poison. I have him in the regen set because I want him to do more. And he can't really do anything if he can't sustain himself. That's the problem. So uh, these guys can go to town. Now that he has regen gear. So we can... You see how topped up he is? I'll show you after this fight. I have him in a regen set. It's not the best quality regen set, but it's just enough to keep him topped up in lower level clan boss until we get better regen gear. Look, I'll show you. I think I got it as a prize somewhere. I'm like, what can I use this on? I was like, yep, on Outlaw Monk. That's who I can use it on. At least for now. Like, I will get him better gear, but for now, that's what he's got. Eventually, we'll get a healer, but I'm like, what can we do to keep him alive? 
you know? We will be getting her to six star, but I got him to six, the level 58 with the regen set so that he can um, keep himself alive. Because the, the problem with life steal is he doesn't really utilize life steal that well because one of his moves doesn't really life steal like maybe the poison would but i find that regen is better um value versus clan boss See, we can do nearly two and a half mil with that. I don't think we have enough resources quite yet to rank six him. I mean, not rank 6 M, level 60 M. But as you can see, it's an improvement. It's got to improve some more when I get defense champs. Drexthar, though, is going to be one of the big ones. The problem is, is, as you can clearly see, in order for me to get Drexthar, I have to get on a different level. Um, we're going to do some Doom Tower, but not on this account. Because this account is not ready for Doom Tower. <sighs> it's just not. Don't even, we're not even, we're not even in the same ballpark. I, I mean, I'll show you the regen stuff later. We got some fragments. Cleopterix is um, fused, but we're saving her for clan wars. That's our, our kale do. So yeah, we're gonna do some, some Doom Tower. We're going to continue the climb. Now. We might need Deacon for this. Or I, I prefer Deacon for this. So we're just going to shove Deacon in there. Because Deacon gives me a lot of strength versus these kind of mobs. And I would prefer that because as we go up the tower, the mobs get more severe. So stuff like Deacon has increased value. I'm just doing this because I want to I wanna get past these waves quick. And having double decreased defense. I mean, I guess two War Maidens could help, but... Deacon has that added extra turn thing that makes him extra valuable. Plus that added increased attack helps just get a, our kale to plow through these waves. Because the thing is, I want to try to get, get through 
the early part of Doom Tower as much as I can so that we can sto focus on the end game aspect and maybe actually beat this tower. Because it has been too long. Like I have waited way too long. It's been it's been too long. I want to beat the tower. I've competed this entire time and I still haven't beat it. I want to actually beat it. For once in my existence, I want to actually beat it. Now, to, to beat it, though, I'm going to have to get above floor, I'd want to say, above floor 89. That, I think, is the big cutoff. Once I get there, I think I can smooth sail it to the top. But I've got to... I've got to hoof it to try to see if I can do that. If there's any rotation I can probably do it on, it's this rotation. Because there's no... What is there no of? There is no... There is no Bommel, and there's no Griffin. Because Bommel and Griffin really are hard to deal with. It takes a very detailed, well-geared comp in order to deal with those champs. I mean, I will end up getting there, but I would, like, if there's any team, like, any rotation I might be able to beat, this is it. If there's any rotation I would be, it's probably this one. Now the reason, like I said, I you don't need Deacon, but he's he makes it easier. Way easier to get up here. Because what he does is he allows you to control the narrative. Um, I'm not going to use Ninja, because here's the thing about Deacon. You will eventually get Deacon, so I'm not going to, you know, I don't feel like a total jerk showing Deacon. Ninja, I do feel like a jerk, because I can't say, oh, you'll eventually get Ninja. I can't guarantee that at all. You can't. Like, there, I, there's no way for me, because I, I do not think, necessarily, the Plarium will bring Ninja back. But Deacon is available based on RNG on your shards. So you will inevitably probably get a Deacon at some point. I'm not going to say when, but at some point you will probably get a Deacon. So that's why I don't think it's unreasonable to even show Deacon because he's not, he's not a one-time thing like Ninja. He, you can get him. You can you can get him as a newer player. It is doable. <laughs> Granted, you do have to cake him to six star or yada yada yada. But again, if you're enough of a tryhard, you can do it. And 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 yeah, you'll eventually get there. If you whale, you'll get him sooner. Um obviously. Granted, Lissandra is better than him, but Lissandra is even rarer than Deacon. Um, I might as well just stop using Deacon on the ne on like as we close in on the boss. I mean, I might need to, but I doubt it. Just because this rotation is not as um stringent, I can probably use High Katoon and get away with it. Deacon, though, is still useful versus stuff like Valkyrie Waves and 
All sorts of defense teams because of the way he drops the defense. He makes the waves a lot squishier. See, and that makes it so that the other ones are easily available. Since there's no um, major defense units in here, I can just do the standard farmable rares thing with Hikatoon. Hikatoon is available to all players who play for 30 days. So she's not exactly... Um, she's not exactly locked out for newer players. Like, she's locked out for the very newest, but she's not... She's not impossible to get by any means. And High Katoon and Champs Liker are needed in this tower because you need something to control the narrative. Um, Apothecary, High Katoon, Hell, even Diabolus, but you'll need to take her to six star. All of these can be used in the front to control the narrative. You want to control that narrative. Perfect. What's in this secret room? Oh, this floor is, um... Okay, the real challenge of this floor is going to sound dumb. Is to make sure that all of the champs are semi-accessible. In fact, just to make it clear that I'm going to use accessible champs, I'm going to do that. Just to be clear. Um, the thing is annoying is I don't have Deacon here because Deacon is a, he feels like a damage champ, but he's not. I got to get rid of the Draco Morph. Because if I don't get rid of the Draco Morph, we're screwed. Okay, they do not like him, it seems. I don't need to keep him alive. Here's the thing. I could get this with just a bunch of Kales. There we go. Like, technically. I could just... Well, Kale and a bunch of War Maidens and stuff. Like, like a bunch of Kales, a Spirit Host, and a War Maiden. And y you know what the, war the craziest part is? The reason I say that is because I have a bunch of Kales. I literally, this account, as we speak, has seven. Seven Kales on it. I'm not even joking. You, In fact... I go so far as to say you could make an, a team comp of five Kales and just stick them in there, and I'd still have two in the vault. That's how many Kales are on this account. It's kind of maniacal. It's just a little bit maniacal. Yeah, no. Yeah, I don't think provoking me was um, the smartest thing to do when you had a decreased defense buff on you. 
But sure, game. Sure. So, ooh, actually, we're going to want to target the Seers first. You see, the problem when you don't target the Seers is um, the Seers, they're a problem. <sighs> we need to go for this. You're like, why? Block buffs. I need block buffs. Because if I don't block buffs, we are in trouble. Main thing here, we need to keep the heat on the man-eater. We're going to keep the heat on the man-eater as much as humanly possible. Okay, yeah, we basically won from there. Because the man-eater is the big problem. It's like a Demetha. If you leave a Demetha or a Man-Eater alive, they're going to be a problem. There we go. We got their defense. We got some of their blocks buffed. Okay, perfect. Now we just have to kill Tyrell and boom. Have to get some drink after this. What do we got? Yeah, we'll beat this floor. We should be in the free. I'm keeping the Ugo in there because we're getting into the point where AoE block buffs is um, a bit of a necessity. Uh, Ugo, Norog, Mortu Macabre, anything with AoE block buffs is great here. Single target like Vizier is all right, but you really want AoE because you don't want to have to deal with all of their buffs at once. Now, Deacon can help bypass that, but not always. That chance of blocking buffs is worth it. You want to take the basher out early on. Because the basher is a problem. As is the lizard man who doesn't have that. Um, we are in a bit of a pickle here. Mainly, we're going to want to focus We're going to want to focus down that basher followed by the occult brawler. Cage breaker's the last cuz he's the least dangerous. It's either cage breaker or towering titan, something like that. Boom. Okay, now, Scarab. There's a number of team comps you can use versus Scarab. Um, this is one of them, but there's others. Um, I'm going to put Mordecai in here for more turn meter drop. Um, Scarab is a uh, highly annoying pest. Um, 
for a lot of reasons. Okay, we're going to want to get rid of this basher. The main problem isn't even this wave. It's um it's the boss. Now I can use Drexthar in the place of Mordecai, but I just want to try Mordecai in here. Just for the hell of it. Anything with turn meter control is amazing versus Scarab. Turn meter control, decrease max health. Any of that is great versus Scarab. Destroy gear is almost a must. You don't really want to buff yourself too much. Put shields up. Drop his turn meter. Drop his turn meter again. You want to keep his turn meter dropped as much as you can. That's part of what you want to do with this boss. Borgoth eventually becomes severely annoying. Number one thing is do not get the urge to buff your shelf unless it's a shield. Because otherwise, he will um, get away with murder. Not something you want him to do. Yeah, you want to use the shield. Yeah, you don't. Whatever you do, you do not want him to take excessive turns. You can drop his turn meter and decrease his defense. Do it. I mean, he kind of works. Got to be careful here. We could easily wipe. There we go. Perfect. We did it. Now, there is other teams one can use in here. Um, Deacon's still useful in here. Scylla the Drakes is useful in this fight because of the revive and the passive heal without excessive buffs. Um, but that's all for now. Like and subscribe. I'm working for a 200 sub goal maybe by the end of the month if I can get it. Or maybe by the end of the next month. But I'd really like to get there because I'm already at 153 subs and I want to try to eventually... Take the account 
progress the account. That's the best way I want to describe it. Progress the account. That's the most that's the best way of describing it. Nothing good. If it was something good, I'd note it, but no, it's just food.